Hello Year 9 again, um, I hope everybody's well. I'm just going to go through the first um, page of the booklet, go through the answers, which I think are pretty straightforward. But, you know, we would go through the answers if we were in class, so let's go through the answers now. Um, on the table here is uh, a, a different version of Lord of the Flies. As I said before, the story is still the same, but you might have a copy of Lord of the Flies that's got that, that cover on it. Um, so let's go through the answers to the questions. So this is the first page of the reading book clip that you've got. So what did Golding study at Oxford University? Well, like all smart people, he studied English literature. OK, so that should be your answer to question one. And then the second question was list three jobs that Golding has done in his life. Now, we know he's been an author and we know that he's he joined the the royal navy so you could have that one but that kind of comes into the next question so for question two um you could have had any of these actor director poet teacher um, i put navy in brackets because it kind of answers the next question but it's, it's still not a wrong answer and obviously being an author is not a wrong answer either so you could have author as well Okay, so what did Golding do in 1940? Well, he joined the Royal Navy, which is what I told you in another video, and that's how he got to see firsthand so many atrocities, so many things that man is capable of doing to his fellow man. Okay, and um, the next question, what did Golding realise about humans after he'd been involved in World War II? Well, that's the answer I've just given you, really. Um, how evil they could be to one another that doesn't really fully answer the question um what did golden yeah what did golden realize about humans after he'd been in world war ii how evil they could be to one another okay and you know hopefully that's something that we're, we're seeing the opposite of during our current crisis um let's move on question five excuse my voice um how many publishers initially Hold on, I just need to double check that I've got this right. How many publishers initially rejected Lord of the Flies? I was about to say Lord of the Rings. Um, more than 20 is the answer to number five. So he had a bit of a J.K. Rowling situation going on. Um, it's funny how it became a prize-winning book. And yet 20, more than 20 publishers rejected it to begin with. I wonder if it's because it seemed a little bit difficult to to come to terms with so close to the end of the second world war don't know right the next question is how did the boys end up marooned on the island well i touched on this in a different video um their plane is attacked and crash lands there okay so this, this doing the answers in this way gives me the opportunity to say a little bit more about them um they are as you may remember in the full throes of a fictional war, a made-up war, an atomic war, the kind of war that people feared at the time but never came to fruition. Right, question seven. Um, what ideas does the novel explore? What idea does the novel explore? It's basically human evil. Um, Golding believed that everybody has the capacity to commit terrible evil. And he demonstrates that in his novel because there's an awful lot of evil that goes on. A lot of mob mentality as well. OK, so I'll put a video together for um, the next few questions. And you can, I mean, you can use your green and purple pens if you've got them. And uh, I'll see you next time.